Okay, I guess I'm going to call this an animated mask slash transition type effect. I don't know what else to call it. Okay. Okay, you're going to want to drag your image into the overlay track. And then after that, we right click, fit to screen. Okay. Also, Keep aspect ratio so the clip is not distorted. Go to tools and open up your painting creator. When this image pops up, you're going to want to come down here, select animation mode, then open your preferences tab next to it. Ensure that all three of these boxes are checked. Once you've done that, simply click OK. Up here is your start recording button. This is how you start recording your animation. I'm going to start by zooming in a little bit up here. For the painting portion of this you can take as long as you want to complete your drawing. What Painting Creator does is it condenses your clip into a three second segment. So no matter how long you spend doing it, it'll be a three second clip. It also gives you the option to extend it to as long as 15 seconds or as short as one second. Now also in preparing to do your painting, let's, uh, let's open up our brush tool. Okay, set your softness to 15. This allows your edges to be smooth. Okay, hit OK. Then I'm going to take my brush setting and make it fairly tall and kind of narrow. Ensure that your padlock at the bottom is unlocked so that you can adjust it this way. Unfortunately there's no pause button in Painting Creator so when you start your drawing make sure you have time to finish. So let's get started. Push start recording. I like to fill in my drawing randomly in kind of an incomplete way so that you can't really tell what the drawing is until towards the very end. It helps the effect a little bit. I used this color in my previous tutorial. I'm erasing that. Let me go up and go to a different color. So I think our try, how about, uh, it's kind of a gold. Let's, let's go with that, okay? Let's go around and do some filling in here. So I'm filling in a random section down here and then I want to jump to another location. So I'm going to spend a little time up here and fill in a little bit of stuff up here and then I'm going to be jumping around. There's no real right or wrong way to do this. It's just, like I said, just kind of bounce around. I'm going to jump to another area here in a second. The image will move itself when your paintbrush gets too close to the edge. I'm just going to erase it. The finished product is rendered so fast you shouldn't even see that happen. Okay, I'm zoomed out here. I'm just going to take a peek. I'm going to go around my mountains, I think. And it's, you know, it's kind of up to you what you really want to do. But I'm going to go around the mountains and around the trees. And I'm going to jump forward to completed project. This is what I've come up with to work with. I want to zoom in long enough to show you a little bit of this. Now if you look at the trees you can still see the sky and the leaves and all that kind of stuff. Okay, You don't have to fill in all that stuff. You don't have to go nuts to get the effect you want. Okay, so satisfied with what you see. Come up here, hit stop recording. Once you've done that it's going to appear in this clip window to the right. Okay, now Default setting for an animation clip is, is 3 seconds. You want to right click, select change duration. Come up here, set it to 5 seconds. That done, click OK. Then you're going to want to come down to the box down here, click OK. It immediately starts rendering your image. OK, over here is your progress bar. This will take a little while to render. Okay, one of the steps to prepare for the beginning of the creation is we drag this image into here, okay, your original image. Bring it out to, oh, about 14 seconds is good. And actually you have to put this in your overlay track because of the size of it, okay. Now we're going to fit it to screen. 
keep our aspect ratio and at this point we have to create a uh, we have to create this as a file we need it as a video file 14 seconds worth okay and once that is rendered and in your library all you have to do is clear the timeline and let's let's start the process to create it okay we're going to want to start by dragging our animation into the overlay position okay this first stroke up here is for some reason painting creator always records after something is actually on the screen so it's only two or three frames we're just going to fast forward those two or three frames okay cut it and delete it be sure to move your clip to the far left to the beginning okay and then next because the color blue is somewhat prevalent in this clip I'm gonna come up here and I'm gonna select a light blue okay I'm gonna insert that into my timeline and I'm going to make that clip as long as the animation is then you're gonna to wanna to come back to your folder then you're gonna to wanna to take the 14 second still image we created and drag it into your timeline okay now you're gonna to wanna to take this image and come five seconds into it okay then cut it okay then you're gonna to wanna to come up into your FX filters okay find auto sketch insert that into the five second clip that you just created come into your options click customize okay the color is the only thing that I want to change here I want a light blue color kind of like we did in the beginning close match is good enough click OK and also click OK up in the filter and this is just a quick peek at the effect we've applied come back and select your animated mask I'm just scrolling it close to the end and I'm gonna hit play I just wanna make sure I'm on the very last frame okay then I'm going to save a snapshot of that okay with our snapshot saved we're gonna drag this down into our overlay position okay we're going to have to fit it to screen the aspect ratio needs nothing because the animation is already rendered correctly okay then you're gonna to wanna to extend the length of this image duration somewhere in this general area perfect is not important at this point okay then come over open your options select mask and chroma key I'm just gonna use the eyedropper to select blue okay then you're going to want to open your options back up I almost missed it and select fade out you want the fade to occur t towards the very end of your clip so I'm gonna drag this out a little bit and that will change somewhat where the fade out starts to occur this will be manipulated a little bit more later the next filter I'm going to be working with is in Vitacene this is contained in VS5 Ultimate so if you only have Pro I would suggest using Blur uh, Brightness and Contrast something along that line okay you're going to want to open your options customize filter okay in your menu what you're going to want to be looking for look in your main menu under transitions towards the bottom and under miscellaneous is where you're going to find soft psychedelic 
a double click selects that particular filter. I'm not going to change any aspects about it. All you have to do is hit F12 to apply. Here's a quick peek at the applied effect. Okay, now I'm going to go to Project and I'm going to move my slider. For maximum effect, I want the very beginning of this transition of the psychedelic effect to coincide with the fading of the other effect. It's pretty close right now. I may come back to it again. Something else that needs to be done is on your blue in the beginning here, you're going to want to come to somewhere around the center of that particular clip. Roughly the center of the clip only. I'm going to go even a, a touch further. Let's go right about there. I'm going to cut it. Now that your cut has been made, you're going to want to select this small clip. Okay. Open your options panel. Go to color color picker change that to white okay now go up to your transitions I'm going to come over here and I'm just going to go with a cross fade set that transition there and let's play that I actually want this transition to last a little bit longer, so I'm going to go into my options. Okay, up here is where you can set the time. The transition is one second, okay? So I'm going for one second and roughly 15 frames because it's 30 frames a second, or increasing the transition to a second and a half click anywhere in this big open space and the change is applied and take a quick peek at that that looks a little better okay good okay it's finally time to turn this project into a video clip so bear with me a second while I render this video and when that's complete I will have one final step to make last thing that I want to do with our completed clip kind of smooth everything together. Okay, here's our drawing completing itself. Right at the point of completion. It's roughly right here. Just kind of eyeball it. That looks complete. Then I'm going to cut it right here. Okay, then I'm going to go over, I'm going to move ahead, okay, see the purple coming in, I'm going to bring it to right about, see how slow the purple comes in, I'm going to bring it to right about here, because it happens pretty fast, it's okay if that kind of pops in, we're going to cut it again, and we're going to delete this section because it, it just kind of delays the overall look of the effect. Render this as a complete project one last time, and we are done.